Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So welcome back to this multi-part tutorial series where I'm showing you how to create a real-world crowd sale that can be used to raise real funds in an ICO on the main Ethereum network. So in the last video, we uh, built a uh, timed crowd sale that has an opening time and a closing time. We wrote some tests for it. In this video, we're going to uh, build a whitelisted crowd sale. So essentially what we're going to do is only allow certain investors to contribute. So check out that last video if you haven't already, and be sure to subscribe to the channel to see the next video in the series when it comes out. This episode is presented by QuickNode, the fastest and easiest way to run your own Ethereum node. QuickNode lets you run a personal cloud-based Ethereum node in a flash without having to download any blockchain data or keep it in sync. Sign up at quicknode.io today to start running your own Ethereum node in no time. So as far as a whitelisted crowd sale goes, um, the reason we do this is for, you know, KYC registration purposes or know your customer. And, you know, this is kind of, uh, an increasing requirement for, for crowd sales internationally. Um, people have regulations that s specify that they have to know who contributes, they have to match investor contributions to, uh, uh, real people. So what we want to do is, you know, an admin is going to essentially, uh, gather, um, information about the people who want to contribute to the crowd sale, and if they pass, um, if they pass those requirements, then they'll add them to the whitelist. So we'll keep track of a whitelist, and if an investor is on the whitelist, then they can purchase the crowd sale. So let's say here, uh, let's say whitelisted crowd sale. All right, look at this. Uh, so cr whitelisted crowd sale is whitelist, and it's it's crowd sale. So we'll pre-validate the purchase. This is going to say only if whitelisted, and then we'll you know say super uh, pre-validate purchase. So if we look at whitelisted, whitelist at soul. This is a function modifier, so only if whitelisted. It's a check roll. Basically, it's going to say you know add uh, it is this person on the whitelist. There's going to be some other functions in here that say like. Uh, uh, ad address your whitelist, so we'll be able to whitelist someone, and only the owner can do this. And um, we'll also we can get you know uh, we can actually get the get see if the address is on the whitelist. We could also add you know many addresses to the whitelist like this. It's going to get an array, and we can add multiple. So um, let's go ahead and do that. We'll go to our crowd sale, and we'll import. Um, the whitelisted crowd sale. We'll just say uh, validation whitelisted crowd sale. Whitelisted crowd sale. All right. And let's go ahead and um, do that. I don't think we need any constructor arguments. So we can go back and check. All right. No more constructor arguments are required. So that's fine. But if we want our tests, they'll probably fail. Let's compile the contract first. Well, oops. Let's compile the contract first to see if uh, we imported this file properly. I suspect that we did, so this will probably pass. All right, that worked. So now let's run the tests. All right, we can see our tests are failing. And we see all these uh, transactions are reverting. That's because the whenever we're trying to buy tokens in the test, that uh, the investors are not part of the whitelist. So let's actually whitelist some investors. We can do that in our crowd sale like this, just to get our investors, just to get it to pass. Um, so what we can do is, let's see here. Go to the test, sorry. We can go inside of here. After we've transferred the ownership of the token, we can just say, uh, oops. Add investors to whitelist. All right, sorry, I'm gonna add this over. We'll say await this dot crowd sale. Let's say add many to whitelist. 
and we'll just say, uh, let's do investor one and investor two. I'm just going to copy these because that's who we've been using in our uh, scenario so far. So I'll save this on the test and see if they pass. All right. So actually, it looks like I've this function name has been updated. Uh, let's try that again. Let's do uh, whitelist. So I believe it's uh, add addresses to whitelist. Addresses, plural. Yeah. So that's been updated in the library. Let's try that. Add addresses to whitelist. All right, looks like the tests are coming in green. All right, so the investors are whitelisted. Now let's write a um, sanity check in the in our test to uh, you know ensure that someone who's not whitelisted can't um, purchase tokens. So let's let's do this. Let's do it above let's below below uh, timed crowd sale. Let's say whitelisted crowd sale. We'll save this and we'll say uh, uh, it rejects contributions from non whitelisted investors. And inside of here, let's actually create a let's just kill this. Let's actually uh, create an investor who isn't whitelisted. At the top, let's just use you know this default account that's here to deploy the contract and uh, we'll reference that account and say that it is not whitelisted. So we'll say const not whitelisted and um, we'll just make a reference to this default account. We'll say await uh, this uh, crowd sale buy tokens and say not whitelisted and let's actually pass it a valid value. Say value uh, ether one and we'll say from uh, not whitelisted and we'll say sorry this should be here sorry we'll say should be rejected with no EVM revert all right so with that fail so for now, let's let's make this valid. So we'll get the test to fail first, then we'll try to get it to pass. Not whitelisted, we'll just say investor one, who is whitelisted, so this will fail. Um, let's run the test and see what happens. And then once uh, this fails properly, we will, uh, all right, so that fails, that's what we want. Huh. Actually, this is failing for a different reason, um, I believe. Let's see here. Buy token, yeah. And also, we have a couple problems. It doesn't have enough funds to send the transaction. I believe uh, we've actually run out of ether, so I have to restart Ganache. So you might get this error sometimes. Uh, just try restarting Ganache if you do. So buy tokens, plural. And I'm not gonna go through this whole phase. Let's just go ahead and make it do what we expect. I don't want to keep you here all day. So let's just run the test and see if it passes. All right, it passes. So that's how easy it is to create a whitelisted crowd sale, guys. And, um, you know, an admin can basically add a bunch of addresses to the whitelist like this. They can also, um, you know, add individual addresses to the whitelist. Um, with this function and you know this is basically just a way to do this a little more gas efficient for many uh, but you can add them individually like this so that's all i got for today guys uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel to see the next video in the playlist whenever it comes out and until next time thanks for watching dap university mm -hmm.